Welcome to another tutorial. Uh, we're going to talk about pressure reducing valves. You can see here when we put on the pump, and that's just on the solar, uh, is around 25. That is uh, centipascal, which is around 2.5 bar. It's approaching, I would actually say it's nearly 30, so around 3 bar. Uh, that is perfectly fine for sprinklers, is what we want, but not for the dripper lines. And imagine you would have a booster pump, it will immediately reach above 30. So what are we going to do? Where the dripper lines are, we have to put something in place that reduces it to 1.5 to 1 bar, without affecting any of the pressures uh, which uh, are upstream, so in, in, in the other blocks. Okay, this is uh, the pressure reducing assembly. First, this part is to protect your pressure reducing valve. And there's a pressure reducing valve here and a stop valve here. What is missing is supposed to be another valve here because we want to reduce the pressure here meaning the pressure here will be reduced and here it remains unchanged. So you will see there a plus and a minus sign and if I turn it clockwise then on the plus sign pressure will increase in if I turn it anti-clockwise, in a minus sign, then the pressure uh, will be reduced. Now you can see I take out this little uh, stopper on the side. And that's why it's good to have a, a valve uh, upstream so it doesn't flush out there. And this uh, is where I will read the, the pressure. So I want to see the pressure which comes out. First what I do, I stop here and that thing goes to 20 and then I reduce it and you can see while I'm reducing here it goes down to 10 and then I reopen this valve. That means downstream the pressure will be reduced to one bar. And uh, we can of course also increase it a bit if you want to have a bit more. Let's say you want to have 1.5 bar. And uh, we go again to the plus sign. So we're increasing a bit. Let's say 1.5. And then we will leave it there. That's fine. And that's a pressure reducing valve. To finish a small video from the ITAP uh, supplier, which is really excellent, is uh, from the supplier itself. So have a look at that one. Uh, it's more sophisticated. <laughs> and uh, you get a better picture of what is actually needed. It's really a very nice video.